This is a video from one of our design and configure example driver solo projects. This particular one shows how you can configure a heat exchanging solar panel. All the design rules and know-how have been set up in the project already, so that new variations can be created simply by entering our requirements on the forms. This example project, along with several others, is available to download from the DriveWork Solo website. Clicking on the Run Specification button launches a new specification. The first form in this project is where we'll fill out the contract details of the project. All of these fields are required to be filled out as they are used in the naming convention throughout this project. Until these fields are correctly completed, the next button is disabled and warning messages indicate what values need completing. The control for the contact number contains a rule that ensures that numeric values are used and that a minimum number of values are entered. As well as this, the country code changes automatically with the country selected. Next, the email control also has rules within it to ensure that a valid email address is entered. All of this ensures that the information entered is legitimate. Once the control fields are filled out correctly, we can move on to the next form, which allows us to specify the material of the solar panel frame. Clicking each image selects the material for the frame. Again, like the first form, if no material is selected, then a message will be displayed and the next button will be disabled. Our next form is our opportunity to specify the size of the solar panel and the diameter of the copper piping. Sliding the controls back and forth updates a label that returns the value of the slider. Next, we can choose the exit location of the pipes. We have four options, back right, back left, bottom right and bottom left. These are supported with an image that updates automatically based on the selection made in the drop down. This helps the user identify what the selection they have made relates to. Our final form provides the user with information on the capabilities of the solar panel specified. These values are worked out in the project based on the size of the solar panel as well as some assumed generic figures. The calculations work out the size of the water tank that could be heated from 20 degrees to 40 degrees Celsius by the solar panel specified in 8 hours of sunlight. Once we're happy with the selections we have made, we can click Preview to have a look at the model we have specified. By clicking the Preview Model button at the top of the Solo Task Pane, the models alone will be generated. The Preview Generation takes a copy of the Master Model, gives it a temporary name and puts it into a temporary location. DriveWorks then generates the model to the values specified in the project and displays the results. This is far quicker than click and finish as the drawings and documents are not generated and the models are not fully saved. It also means that the user can make any changes they want before committing and click and finish. Now that the generation is complete, the model has been generated to the exact values that we entered onto the forms during the specification. If the model design isn't completely correct, the values of the models can be changed and the model can be previewed again. The transparency of the glass material makes it difficult to see all the detail in this section. For this reason, the cutaway section is there to show the detail of the exit pipes. Once the engineer is happy with the model, they can also preview the drawings that will be produced with this project. Again, like the model, drawings can be previewed by clicking this button here. This uses the temporary models just created and generates the drawings captured against the models based on the rules created in the project. Notice that each drawing will open and on each drawing sheet the drawing views will rescale, resize and reposition based on the rules created. Taking a look at the drawing, you can see that the information from the project has populated the borders, the bill of materials has been updated, as well as other notes on the form. There is also the opportunity during a specification to preview the documents that are scheduled to be created when the project is finished. In this project, there is a covering letter, a quotation, a bill of materials, 
and a document showing all the values entered onto the form. Each document can be viewed individually to ensure that the document has been populated with the correct information. The final document is a report file. This is an audit trail of what actions Drybrook Solar has taken. So using this, you can see it has driven the custom properties of the drawing, and you can see that it has driven all the appropriate dimensions. Any action Driveworks takes will be reported on. This really helps to troubleshoot the rules in your project, to ensure that they are built and calculated correctly. Once you are happy with all the files that have been previewed, click Finish to allow Driveworks to finalise all the models and drawings and save them into the file location determined in your rules. With everything checked in the Finish dialog, all the models and drawings will be saved permanently to their location. The documents will be generated and all of this will be displayed in Windows Explorer when it is complete. As the model is rebuilt, the temporary file name at the top of the SOLIDWORKS screen is updated to reflect the file name based on the rules set up in the project. It is then saved into a final file location and the generation moves on to the drawings. The general arrangement drawing is rebuilt and updated to the latest views. Again, it is saved with its final file name in its final file location. As well as this one, four more drawings are generated. One showing the detail in the frame. The next shows the detail in the complete piping assembly. This next drawing shows the detail in the copper elbow joint. And finally, we have a drawing of the copper U-bend. Once the generation is complete, Windows Explorer is displayed showing the location of the saved files created in the generation. We have designed this project to ensure that all drawing files are placed in a drawings folder, all model files are placed in a models folder, and all document files are placed into a document folder. In addition to this, the generation report is saved as a drive report file, which allows the user to review the generation retrospectively. So that brings us to the end of the video for our solar panel. Remember that you can download the project yourself, fill out the forms over and over again, and configure your own heat exchanging solar panel. If you have any questions about the video, the project, or about Drivebook Solo, please contact your SolarWorks or Driveworks reseller, or email support at driveworksolo.com. As well as this, you can check out the help file for more useful information.